My name is Liz and I'm a veterinary nurse um, here at the Taronga Wildlife Hospital. And I have the very lucky job of hand rearing this short beak to kidna puggle. It's being kept in a climate controlled esky at the moment with a little bit of um, dirt, leaf litter and some soft towels. There's a thermometer in there so I can measure the temperature as well to make sure they're not getting too hot. Echidnas are quite sensitive to the heat and naturally it would be in a burrow which is relatively cool. It's had um, vet assessments, vet exams, it's even had an x-ray. Um, it hasn't had any health problems at the moment except for a little bit of dry skin which is normal for these guys. I'm feeding the echidna puggle a specially formulated echidna milk and I feed it out of the palm of my hand. The reason for doing this is because um, mother echidnas don't actually have nipples or teats um, so they actually secrete milk through the pores in their skin. So I'm um, emulating in some way um, the mother's skin by my hand and the echidna will lick the milk from the palm of my hand, like it would lick the milk from its mother's um, skin on its abdomen. The ultimate goal here at the Trunga Wildlife Hospital with any wildlife case that comes in is to treat them, rehabilitate them and release them. So this animal came in as an orphan with minimal um, injuries or illness. So our plan is to re rehabilitate this animal to a stage that it can be released into the wild. So ideally it'll go back into the area it was found at a suitable age at a suitable time of year as well.